Greetings. This is a volcano and earthquake watch for June 19 through to June 24. A significant 6.6 .6 magnitude earthquake was recorded in the New Britain region, Papua New Guinea, yesterday. I do feel with a strong coronal hole formation coming, there is a strong likelihood of a 7.5 earthquake during this watch. We're now looking at solar system scope, looking at some celestial influences that may play a role during this earthquake watch. The main area of focus for the June 22 to 23 time frame is the alignment between Mars, Venus and Mercury. It's also worth noting that we do have Mercury moving into the translation between Saturn and Venus. There is one degree of separation between Pluto, Earth and Sun. And finally we also have Neptune, Sun and Mercury, with Mercury moving into that translation as well. I do believe there are significant celestial influences that may enhance or contribute to some seismic potential for the June 22 to 23 time frame. When I look at the latest telemetry from ACE, we get to see significant changes in solar wind speeds over the last 4 to 5 hours, where solar wind speeds were at 450 km a second, racing up towards 550 km a second. And we also see that density has decreased, while temperature has increased during this same time. That's an indication that the coronal mass ejection released on the 14th of June has affected the Earth's magnetic field. We're now looking at the 193 Angstrom with Solar Monitor and we get to see this very large coronal hole formation that should be in the Earth facing position in approximately 3 days. It does extend from the equator down to around 28 degrees south latitude. We're now looking at the SDO composite, we get to see some filaments erupting in various locations on the solar corona but the main area of focus is this very large coronal hole. And if we look closely we do see two components or two darker regions that will be focusing in on these areas and plotting these shortly. There is also a significant active region in behind that is producing a fair amount of activities and the magnetic field is quite strong so this active region will be numbered in the coming days and it may produce some significant x-ray activity. Now having a quick look at the 304 angstrom I found another region that may produce an event and that will be arriving about a day and a half prior to this very large coronal hole. And that's sitting around about 8 degrees south latitude. So I do see a possibility of two or three significant earthquakes during this watch. I have targeted 18 to 23 degrees south latitude as the area of most concern for this watch. The most likely regions that may be affected by a significant earthquake could be the regions of Tonga and Loyalty Islands. The southwestern corner of Indonesia will be my second area of concern for this watch. And that's the region from southern and northern Sumatra along this fault line. There is a concern that Krakatau may be affected and that will be the main concern for this watch. But the main area of focus will be this fault line as I do expect there could be a possibility of a significant earthquake in around this region. And my final area of concern is the region of Potosi, Bolivia and adjacent to this region Atacama, Chile. I do believe that one of these regions along this latitude could be at risk for a significant earthquake. We're now looking at a 5 day moving average of the outgoing long wave radiation anomaly. This is showing parts of the globe that could be susceptible of a significant seismic event in the coming week. The main areas we are looking at are the regions shaded in darkish green. We do have a significant anomaly underneath Taiwan stretching down towards the Philippine region. There is another anomaly just east of Hawaii. But the main areas of focus will be in the southern hemisphere due to the large coronal hole on the solar corona. And we do have a region just underneath Madagascar. And another major region just underneath New Caledonia, Comatic Islands and also stretching through to the Coral Sea region. We have seen a significant decrease in activities on the ionospheric anomaly map. However there are areas that are showing significant activities although rather sporadically and that's the region of Indonesia. We have seen 15s and 14s recorded on this service during this month and I'm a little bit concerned about the region of southern and northern Sumatra and more specifically the region in and around Krakatau. So this is of most concern and I will be keeping a close notice of this during this watch. And that's my earthquake watch for today for June 17, 2011. Annotations will be added during and at the end of the video. Thanks for watching.